Yo, what's up? <laughs> Hello Bidgets, my name is Ferrero Rocher today. Still can't pronounce that. I've done several of these skincare routine vids in the past. I'd like to think I'm a beauty guru minus the drama and controversies. <laughs> Why do you watch me? But what I've noticed from the majority of these routines on YouTube is that most of them don't explain what they're using and why they're using it in this order. And I consider myself a skincare enthusiast. I am in no way a professional or an expert. I did not study this in a four-year college. I used Google and other videos on YouTube to help me figure out what's in skincare. So unlike my other video I made, just shitting on beauty gurus, today I wanted to actually give you guys a step-by-step -step routine that actually teaches you what's inside skincare and why I'm using it in this order and just show you my day and nighttime routines. And by the title of the video, you already know this, I'm not gonna bullshit you and tell you to drink water and exercise and get eight hours of sleep and then you have this. Cause I'm not your mother, I'm your gay mom in spirit, but you do what you wanna do to your body, you're old enough to know to drink water. This is lemon water by the way, because vitamin C brightens up your skin. <laughs> now as a guy, I found it very disheartening and confusing when I walked into a locker room all the time during middle and high school and I saw that like 99% of boys use soap and water and wash their face with a dirty towel and magically had clear skin and me in 8th grade was basically this. <laughs> I always looked at my sister and what she was doing and I would copy her routine and then I started to learn online what skincare was. So when I saw that a lot of guys were using head and shoulders as a cleanser, I was very taken aback. And I think it's stupid that there's a stigma that men who use skincare are presumably more feminine and less masculine. Like. It if you don't do skincare, I think you're not being smart, and I feel like skincare is universal. Just because you eat McDonald's and you are naturally 120 pounds and 5'8", doesn't mean you are healthy. And I think that applies the same way with skincare. Just because you wash your skin one time a month in the shower doesn't necessarily mean you got good skin. And this is forever, because I don't plan on getting plastic surgery, so I like to treat it well. So, boys who make fun of me and other guys out there who use skincare, you can laugh now but I'll be laughing at you when you're 50 and you look 80 and I still look like this. <laughs> now you may not believe me, but I actually listen to classical music while I'm doing my skincare sometimes. Cause it's long-ish, like a good 20 minutes sometimes and it gets boring. So I like to zhuzh it up by doing my skincare to the beat of classical music. You'll see, you'll see. By the way, know that none of this is sponsored but I wish it was because I had to buy all these products myself. Another thing, I have oily skin. Best way to tell if you have oily skin, if you use up more than two blotting sheets in a day, you have oily skin. I don't want to hear anyone saying they have oily skin when all they got is like some shine above their brow and on the tip of their nose. So I'm actually going to start with my night routine. One, because I forgot to do the morning routine. And two, I think it's good for you guys to know what I look like in the morning so you can see the results actually happen. So I'm already prepared. I have a shirt that doesn't matter if it gets wet or some product on there. Last time I had a good shirt on, it got stained, so we're not doing that again. I also have my hair pulled back because getting product, especially moisturizer in your hair, leads to breakouts right on the hairline. In my last video, I used to use a hairband, and don't worry, I still have one, it's just yellow this time. So the first step I'm gonna do is cleanse my face with this Herbalism Cleanser from Lush. This is honestly very weird if you're trying solid cleanser for the first time because one, it's green, kind of looks like ground up grass, but what you're supposed to do is put a little dollop in your hand, mix some water with it to make it into a paste and you scrub that over your face. And the reason why I like this one lately is because it has chamomile and rosemary in it to soothe my skin. The scent from this helps me fall asleep because it's just soothing. And it has ground almonds for a natural exfoliant and don't worry, that will not put micro tears into your skin, unlike Kylie Jenner's. Generally, I don't like to use harsh fragrances. I don't feel the need to have my skincare be good scenting because if you have sensitive skin fragrance is really bad for you and now it's time to begin my skincare playlist so when you're scrubbing your face you typically want to do upward motions because gravity is a thing that's real flat earthers close your skin down so you want to push it back up you don't need to accelerate the process of your skin drooping down and looking old and some of you who are older than me are probably thinking why are you being this extra when you're only 18 well I don't know. I think it's really fun doing skincare and I would rather start early than start too late. 
So once you're done washing your face with warm or cold water, I typically use warm. What I don't do is leave the tap on because that, mm. You want to tap your face or just push upwards slightly. Last thing you want to do is rub your face because it's sort of like rubbing wet tissue paper. This is your skin. This is your skin when it's wet. Not a good thing, right? I know that was very dramatized, but it's the same thing. You're gonna get wrinkles eventually if you just <clears throat> I used to do that because I thought I needed to really scrub my face, but then I realized I started breaking out because of that. All right, my next step is to use a toner. By the way, everything I use is cruelty-free just because that's a personal choice. So I use this Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner. This is very popular amongst everyone. And just so you know, every item I use will be linked in the description and hopefully in order if Frederick remembers to do that. Normally, people apply this with a cotton pad. I don't believe in that. One, the cheap Asian in me thinks it's a waste of product. So I typically just tap it right on my face because you want it to be as direct as possible. Now the purpose of a toner is to balance your pH to the natural level that skin should be. Typically you want it to be between four and 6.5, I think. I'm gonna double check that. But just continue the playlist. And you want every layer on your skin to dry first before you put the next layer on because then you're just mixing up layers. It's kind of like a cake. You don't want marbled cake, you want many layers. If you want me to make a video of just no talking because my voice is annoying and only classical music, I'll do it. You watch me. Someone make that comment and I'll pin it. Okay, something you've heard a lot probably is that you want to layer your products from thinnest to thickest. That's just because you want the most active ingredients getting to your skin first and then putting moisturizer on top to seal it in. But before I put any actual moisturizers and serums on, I use a derma roller. Trust me, it looks much scarier in person. Basically, there's a lot of tiny needles on here that you roll across your face. The best way I can explain this is if you've seen Kim Kardashian's bloody face, like that video of her getting a facial and her skin is just red after, this is sort of the same thing except less expensive and extreme. The idea is to poke miniature microscopic holes into your skin in order to trick it into making new skin aka more collagen. If you don't know what collagen is, basically it's the most abundant protein in skin so it's just making new skin for you. And you mainly want to roll this over your scars. I typically have scars around here just from past breakouts. My skin is much better now like I have gone a month without having a pimple. D and that's not me bragging, that's me proud of being able to get there because usually I have breakouts, especially during the school year just because of stress. I get stress acne very easily. If I eat one piece of cheesecake, I get two acne pimples and they stay without paying rent for months. And when they leave, they don't pack up everything. They leave their shit in the apartment and I end up with some scars. <laughs> so if you roll this over your scars, it'll basically create new skin there much more faster. I wouldn't recommend this for sensitive skin because that could lead to even worse things. My skin isn't sensitive at all. I can handle a beating and still survive. But you want to roll it in like three different directions. I typically just do horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. And then continue my playlist. <clears throat> Extra. By the way, if you're not sure how your skin will react, get the smallest size first. 0.25 millimeters is the smallest size, I think. And try it like one to two times a week. And if your skin can handle that, add more and more days until you can do it daily like me. This video isn't meant to push products to you and make you use them because I get it. Everyone's skin is different. I'm not going to tell you that these work for everyone. I'm going to just say they work for me. But it doesn't mean you can't find products similar to these. Like everyone is going to have a moisturizer and a cleanser. By the way, you want to clean your Gemma Roller every now and then by just putting it in some isopropyl alcohol for like 30 seconds and washing it with water. First, I take a serum. This is a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid serum. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant that basically preserves moisture. It helps retain moisture, that's the word. Vitamin C is for brightening your skin and evening your skin tone. Vitamin C is an active ingredient. So is hyaluronic acid. And they, in a way, oxidize when exposed to air and light, which is why when you take them out, they begin reacting on your face. So it kind of tingles sometimes. So if you ever see a product that says it has vitamin C or hyaluronic acid or retinol, and it's in a clear bottle, double check if it actually works because I highly doubt it would. Storing those ingredients inside a dark bottle keeps it active longer before it, you know, 
activates all the way. And oxidized ingredients can also do harm to your skin, so be careful. So after that, I take a retinol cream. This isn't known for younger people really because it's more suited for like older people because it's for anti-aging and de-wrinkling. But it is also used for acne, which is why I bought it and it does work for me. There's many types of retinol. There's retinol oils and creams, which is the one I have. And it may look like a moisturizer, but it's actually not. It's kind of drying sometimes. So I would not use it as your actual moisturizer. And by the way, vitamin C and retinol are very active ingredients. So putting both on is risky, but the vitamin C and retinol aren't that strong. They're diluted with other things. I don't recommend using both because it's very tingly. <laughs> Oh, I haven't even said this yet, but sometimes I use face masks. You want to do that after cleansing and before toning. If you have acne prone skin, I really recommend the Yes 2 masks. They're very tingly and sometimes hurts, but that's when you know it's working. And it also says it will tingle on the box, so I'm not being crazy. Basically, if you have sensitive skin, this video is not for you. Now, it may sound weird, but I'm actually using a facial oil next. This is... I don't know the name of it, but I will say it right here. It's from Lush and it's a solid facial oil. And I know it sounds crazy, like why are you putting more oil when you have oily skin? I used to think the same thing when I was younger, so I would never use moisturizer because I was like, I already have oily skin. Little did I know that putting more oil prevents your skin from producing oil in the first place. And I heard about this and I didn't believe it, but eventually I caved and tried it and it actually works great. This is the most lightweight one from Lush because I'm still paranoid about using big facial oils. And this is infused with spirulina, which is an algae that is known for being an antioxidant. And it disappears right into my skin, so it doesn't even feel oily. I also put a little bit over my eyes because I don't use an eye cream. When you have oily skin, you don't need more. You just need regular moisturizer because I think eye cream is overrated moisturizer, in my opinion. So my final step is this Alba Botanica Even Advanced Night Cream. You don't need to use too much because you just use an oil. By the way, some of these items are a little more expensive than others, but I think it's worth it to splurge a little on skincare because like, you're trying to take care of your body. Now, sometimes I'll use this drying lotion. You've seen it before. Luckily, I don't have much I need to put on right now. If you watched my first video, I used to slather it on like a maniac and joke about it until I realized that dried my skin out a lot and that's really not good for you. So try to keep it to a minimum. This is a minimum for me. And the final step, which I think is so extra, even to this day, the infamous Mario Badesco facial sprays. This has an infusion of calming botanicals and lavender essential water. Do I think you need this? Absolutely not. Does it feel great? Yes. Does it smell good? Yes. And I use lavender because lavender is known for helping you fall asleep. So that's primarily why. It also feels good, which is another reason why. <coughs> oh, it's in my eye. And that's all for my nighttime routine. So I'm gonna go to sleep. I will see you in the morning and I will show you what my skin looks like. Okay, it is now morning time. Don't know if you can tell, but my skin isn't a mess. There's not an excess of oil. Um, my drying lotion stayed intact for the most part. And by the way, if you find that after using this, it kind of rubs off in the morning, try to figure out how to not move your face into your pillow so much. But I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse and shave my face while I'm in there. So I'll be right back. Wow, I look bald. Okay, I took a shower and then I tied my hair up in the ponytail again. Basically, this is sort of the same steps. I'm not gonna explain too much of it. I'm gonna take my toner, then my serum, and then my retinol cream. I know that some people use the cotton pad during toner to act as an exfoliant. But the thing is my cleanser also acts as an exfoliant, so I don't feel the need to use more. And also, I wanna save that product. This costs money. This may sound crazy to people, but I am gonna go in with my facial oil just a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy here, but this does not work for everyone. So proceed with caution when you try it. It's just showers tend to dry my skin a lot because I'm using hot water. And my daily moisturizer is not that moisturizing and you'll see in a second. All right, so I use a sunscreen as my daily moisturizer. This is Sunbum Face 50. It says it's lightweight and oil-free and that is true. This is the one sunscreen that my face can handle without 
becoming an oil spill. It's oxybenzone free, which if you don't know, oxybenzone is harmful to coral and your skin because it messes with your endocrine system, which basically means, guys, you'll have even less testosterone than you already have. But it's very watery, so I don't need too much. Everyone says you have to reapply your sunscreen after two hours. I don't do that because this is technically a physical sunscreen. Unless I wipe it off, I don't need to. And for me at least, it does not leave that white cast over my face. I can't speak for anyone of darker skin tone. I would go to Jackie Ina if you would want to know a good sunscreen for you. But sunscreen is very important because you don't want to get skin cancer. And make sure it blocks UVA and UVB rays. Don't know the difference? Um, UVB blocks burns and UVA prevents acne i think all right well that is my skincare routine i hope this actually helped you guys last thing i expect from myself is to create an educational video but if you enjoyed give it a like leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos every saturday i'm not going to read a coming out story because that is what i do at the end of every video don't know why it's because i want to inspire you guys to be authentic okay this is a shorter one but as always i keep the name anonymous i came out to all my friends after like two and a half years then i thought screw it and told my brother. I freaked out and told him I was joking and after watching you I was like screw it again and really told him. Well I hope he reacted well. But that is all I have for today and as always I love you guys and everything is less than three.